Welcome to another episode of STIR. Today we're going to be chatting with Jeff Bonner of Tractor Grease Folk. Yeah, thanks for having me. A little role reversal here. Yeah, it's a yeah. nice change up. So <laughs> right what on. is Tractor Grease Folk? Well, Tractor Grease Folk is, uh, I guess it just started with us creating jams here at the studio. And uh, I often have studio musicians here recording for other people. And sometimes we'd end a result, it would result in a jam of my tunes. So, I started putting a band together of just an assortment of guys and we'd go out and play shows. They seem to go over well, so it's kind of gotten a little more serious over the last little bit. So how'd you guys come together? Who, who makes up Track Race Folk? It is quite a few different people. There's uh, Quinn has been my lead guitarist. Uh, he shows up at a lot of shows and he's a songwriter himself. Kyle Schick from a uh, band called The Stirs. He plays rock guitar, we call it. Uh, my buddy Cameron Latimer. Bill Fulton is a really great bass player in town. Um, Tyson Finley on drums. So it is quite a rotating cast. For sure, it's sort of like a blend of different people with different music styles. What style would you say you guys perform? Yeah. Well, you know, kind of when I came up with the name, it was a little bit I thought maybe I wanted to go a little folky. And uh, there are some of those elements, but we rock hard. You know, we take that sort of idea and, and create a kind of a party atmosphere with the, with the music. Tractor Grease Folk more means all the people that hang out at Tractor Grease. It seems really laid back, you know, the group hangs out, you guys just happen yep. to jam and you happen to record some of it. Totally. And you, know, you guys have recently recorded some. We have, and we're coming out with an EP on September 8th. We're going to have a show here at Tractor Grease. What kind of sound can people expect from on this EP and, and at the show? Well, you know, there's definitely some country elements in there, and uh, we like to kind of just take it where it goes. We jam on stage too. A lot of the fun of the band originally was that we just go and start jamming, and so I try to bring that at least once into our live show as well. Would you say you perhaps come up with new music and new songs just from performing and jamming together, even during a show? Oh, for sure. Yeah, we've hey, definitely come up with some some ideas from doing that. The core of the band sort of has come together a lot more. Something that sort of started off as being really loose, sort of we're having fun playing, so it's coming together. You know? And what have you enjoyed the most through this entire process of just sort of guys hanging out, coming together and deciding, hey, let's record something, put it out there for everybody. What, what have you enjoyed oh, the most? Yeah. The best thing about performing is seeing somebody sing your song that you wrote. Uh, it doesn't matter if there's five people or 5,000, if you see people singing your song, that's what it's all about for me, for sure. So you have the EP release party coming up again when? For sure, on September 8th here at Track Degree Studio. And to get more information, they can go to your website? They can go to tractorgrease.com. We got a little story about it. Or check us out on Facebook, of course. Track Degrees, the Track Degrees Road. Thank you very much for sharing that with us. And uh, thanks a lot. Good luck with the release. Another episode of Stir.